What's up guys? Welcome back to this game that is Pokemon Black and White. Today we're on my uh, save file that I chose to use, which is this one with the Charlies and the Ponchos and the Spank Wires and the stuff that is going on. And we are in Opelucid City, where today we're going to be taking on the gym. Um, I was going to do a dual screen kind of thing, but pretty much the black recording was just uh, the vanilla ice cream cone Pokemon raping shit all up in this uh, gym thing. So anyway, here we are in the Opelucid City gym. Uh, we get our nice fresh water, and oh god, I feel like I'm going to be sick. Um, so right now, I don't feel very terrible, but I feel as though tomorrow I'm going to wake up and be terribly sick, and I hope I'm not, because uh, I thought tomorrow was going to be a pretty cool day, and it might be ruined because of sickness. Um, but anyway, hopefully that won't happen, and we'll actually, or I'll actually be able to have a good time, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, this gym, as you might know, or might not know, I don't know if you know, but I know you know how. To make him stop and stare as you zone out into this fracture. This gym is a dragon type gym, and he got a dragon dance up. So this dragon claw will probably do uh, some heavy damage. Um, but I do have the rough helmet, so there we go. He takes some damage, and Charlie takes him out like a boss. Iron Giant also gaining some levels. I think Iron Giant actually evolves at level 43. However, I'm going to be stopping the evolution until probably 45, I think it was, until I can get uh, the earthquake. This is actually kind of weird because you just hold a. Uh, the up and down, you don't actually go left and right, it does nothing, so. Anyway, uh, this kind of reminds me of, like, Shenron, or, you know, the big dragon thing that was in Dragon Ball Z, when Goku was doing, like, his training all up in the sky and everything. Um, he would go up on this, like, dragon, like, very long dragon thing. Um, I don't know, I guess it was, like, the Great Wall of China, but, like, a huge dragon. Anyway, uh, here's Dino, or Dano, or however you pronounce this thing, I have no idea, but it evolves into the almighty Hydragon, or Zazendora, which is actually kind of cooler, but, um, I don't, I don't really care. Uh, we're gonna take it out, because it is a first stage evolution still. Um, so, you know, if it was, like, a second evolution, which is actually, I don't even remember, these, these things have weird names, uh, Dino or Dano or whatever you want to pronounce it like it evolves into a pretty cool dr dark and dragon type Pokemon uh, So the basic gimmick of this gym is uh, I don't know some awesome 3d graphics going on there That's kind of what's going on. Um, I believe if you step on this it does nothing yeah, You have to drop onto it from above that sounds kind of weird, but that's the way it works and oh man I did not mean to do that uh, But anyway, I guess we can we can kind of just keep going up the Oh shit! <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just got so confused there. Um, so I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to drop onto this thing. That'll, you know, do some stupid 3D stuff there. So that's kind of annoying. Um, so I'm gonna have to just. Oh crap! Yeah, this is kind of annoying. But uh, what you basically want to do is, it's pretty straightforward. You drop onto this. That'll do some 3D special effects all up on this, and then you can make your way up the dragon's head and over onto this. So that's pretty cool. There's also a battle here, so let's do that. And, uh, like I said, the gym leaders are Iris slash Drayden, because in black, um, or in this game you have Iris, which, uh, the only difference is basically her Pokemon are all female, and the ability on the Fracture, actually, not Fracture, um, Drudagon changes in, uh, white, I believe it's rough skin, and in black it's something else, or it might be the other way around. The point is, it'll be in the sidebars, probably, so you guys can check that out right there down whenever that comes up when I'm actually doing a gym battle. Uh, so let's go up against this thing, and I can actually still use Slash. Oh, crap, I forgot this thing has a DD up. Um, damn, that did not take it out. Oh, crap. Uh, this is going pretty badly. I, I do not have anything against uh, the uh, dragon types in this save file currently, so... Yeah, in the other save file, pretty much it's me with the vanilla ice cream Pokemon, just raping all them raping all the noobs, kind of, um, so it was, it was pretty straightforward, just using Ice Beam and Frost Breath on all of these, I don't know, I really thought it was kind of boring, so, I'll probably still put up, like, a, I guess, uh, in the, oh, crap, I hope he's not faster than me, okay, nice, nice job, Poncho, you, I can always count on you, buddy, um, you're actually a female, I was about to say man, but, no, anyway, step on this thing, and you will also see that it will move about and shake its head from side to side, um, and there we go. Now we can go up at the dragon's head once again, and head up here. I think there's, a, like, two or three more trainers to fight, so we're gonna be doing that as we go along, and hopefully Poncho will be able to take those out with no problems. Ah, <sighs> damn it, I feel like I'm gonna be sick, I'm sorry. Um, hopefully I, I won't be sick. I'll actually 
be recording another Ratchet and Clank video later tonight, probably, and that might be uploaded tomorrow morning. I think Mold Breaker is actually the other ability that Dredagon uh, might have on Iris' team or on Drayden, I don't know, but you'll see it in the sidebars. Like I said, uh, I'll be showing those off for both games, I guess. Anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what was I going to talk about? Uh, yeah, I apologize that I've not been able to upload any videos, uh, you know, consistently in a while. I mean, like, for this week, kind of. Uh, but I've actually, it, it was my last week of school, so that means that school is actually over in Puerto Rico. Which is, you know, some people, they say, oh man, you're already done with school, I have like a week left. Uh, you can't do that, so I guess we're heading over here. You know, not a week, I have like a month left or something, and I'm like, well, that's, that's good for you. Um... No, no, not really. I just, I kind of, I don't feel bad, but the thing is, you know, I stop school very early, but I also get back to school, like, you know, in August, so a lot of people, they have, they get off in, like, June, but they also, oh gosh, this rough skin is gonna break my balls, man. Uh, but yeah, they get back to school in, like, September, so whatever, the point is, it kind of balances out in a way. This tail slap is not doing very well, is it? I am, I am just not doing very well overall in this gym. Alright, let's go for Vinny. I was hoping I wouldn't have to resort to Vinny because he's just way too good at this game. Look at that. Boom. Raped. Oh, gosh. Ah. Okay, I was not expecting that. Vinny, you are supposed to be way better than this. What is wrong with you, man? I guess I did kind of use the strength rather than uh, the other move that I should have used, but whatever. Uh, point is, we defeated them, and that is all good and dandy, and now I will heal up some of my Pokemans because they're kind of in bad shape. The, uh, I guess you could say whatever AP is, the equivalent in Puerto Rico of AP, which if you are not familiar with for some reason is advanced placement, uh, so you get like classes that are like a year ahead of you, however that was, it was kind of pointless, so uh, second semester I ended up uh, getting out of there. Um, and, you know, it was definitely for the better because it's literally been one semester I raised my grade from a 69, which I needed to actually get out of the AP group. Um, so I lowered my grade purposely to a 69. Yeah, I know it might sound kind of crazy, but you needed to have lower than a C, which is a 70, if you guys don't know. So, 69% uh, in the class um, got me, you know, out of there. And that was all good and dandy, and I should probably use fighting moves against this thing, because I know they would probably be super effective, so let me actually do that now, and unless this thing kills me for some reason, it should be super effective, I'm not sure. Yes, it is, so just keep that in mind, because there's probably going to be some Zazendoras all up in the Elite Four later on, so, uh, you know, just a thing to keep in mind, you can use fighting moves on those, so Vinny's probably not going to have a very difficult time against those. Um, I'm hoping I can do good against the Gym Leader, um... Like I said, I don't really have anything that's uh, super effective against dragon types, so maybe I'll be having a rough time um, with the rough skins on the on the Dredagons and whatnot, uh, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Let's cross scissor this thing. X scissor with it. Oh, that's still, uh, there's still some rough skins going on there, so maybe this will be a critical or something. Oh, nice. It uh, wasn't even a critical, but it took it out anyway. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically what's been going down. Iron Giant is now going to try to evolve. However, we're not going to let that happen. Yo, ho, ho, he took a bite of gum gum. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo. Uh, let's see what's going on down here. Oh, going under the dragon. And, uh, there's one more dragon. Jeez, I thought this was over, but apparently we need to do some more shaking of the hips, and my hips don't lie, and I just can't cry, but, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's go down. Ah, uh, you can't go down there. Alright, so that's awesome. I completely forgot what I was talking about, but uh, school is over now, and uh, yeah. I ended up with a, I believe, oh, oh gosh, what did I do? I think I screwed something up. I don't, I don't know. I think I'm just supposed to drop down here once again. Uh, but anyway, I, I was able to raise my 69% to a 93%, uh, so that was pretty good. Um, and I think pretty much every other class I had an A, so really... Not doing, you know, not doing bad in the schools or anything. I mean, it was junior year, so I was expecting to get some good grades so I can get into good colleges and educate myself in the... Sorry, my, uh, my, my thing, what is that thing? Uh, a vast antivirus is apparently running out, so... <coughs> ah. <coughs> God, what, what is going on with me today? Okay, uh, back to this game that I should concentrate on, but I can't for some reason. Uh, we are, we are at 10 minutes about, so hopefully, uh, we'll be able to take down the gym leader before time's up, and I don't know how long I can keep this up, but hopefully, yeah, we'll do that. Please hit him one more time. God, 
Ah, you're so stupid. Come on, Poncho. You could have done better than that, man. You can, you could have done it, man. You could have done it right there. It would have been over. Now this thing's probably going to be not faster than me. And there we go. Take it out with a nice X scissor to the face, to the face. Or as many people have said that I say, but it's actually um, Tabe that says it. Titty face, titty face. Yes, I do actually say titty face, not to the face. I say it on purpose because that's what Tabe says. And if you don't know Tabe, then you obviously are either not a big fan of Call of Duty or just the Call of Duty YouTube, um, YouTube-ness, I guess. Anyway, uh, going along the Dragon Tales, Dragon Tales, we're gonna be, uh, fighting the last trainer, probably. I think this is actually the last trainer. I'm not 100% sure, but as you can see, there are plenty of trainers in this gym for you guys to get some experience, and this lady has some cool glasses that are black. So they are, like, black glasses or something, but, uh, let's see if Revenge actually does a lot of damage. I'm, I'm avoiding the use of, uh, you know, surf or anything like that, because if you guys don't know, pretty much, uh, fire, grass, and water are all not very effective against dragon types and also electric types, so pretty much all the starters, including Pikachu from yellow, I guess you could say, um, will be not very effective against dragon moves, and this thing is faster than me for some reason. That is not, that is not beneficial, uh, but it does get hurt because it has that, uh, that thing, what is it, the rugged helmet, or the rough helmet, or whatever it's called, I really don't remember. Uh, let's go for a Shadow Punch, and maybe that'll do some damage and wreck some stuff. Oh god, I almost died. Uh, that is not doing that much damage, actually. So let's let Iron Giant die here, actually. I really don't care anymore. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to go for Vinny, and then I'm gonna have to go heal up, because I am basically dead. Uh, that is not good, but I think, uh, when you get to Iris, the gym leader, there will be a thing, um, to teleport you back to the beginning. And her name was actually Ver Veteran Kim, which reminds me of Kimmy J, who was actually you know, in the Vietnam War and whatnot, and we already fought this lady, so he's a veteran and stuff. And, uh, let's see what it is we're supposed to do. I guess we drop down onto here, and that will make the dragon sh -sh shake his head, and take us up to Iris, the gym leader. So we're gonna be doing that up next. Like I said, there will probably be at one point a picture-in-picture -picture where I show off the blackness of Drayden. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go heal up now, so be right back, peeps. Alright, we're heading up against the... Opelucid City Gym Leader. She is amazing, just the way she is, so let's get started in battle against Iris, or Drayden, I guess. Yeah, she will have uh, three Pokemon on her team. Uh, her first Pokemon will be the Fracture. I don't know, I don't, I really don't know about Fracture's name. I mean, obviously it's kind of a pun on uh, Axe because it, for some reason, you know, Haxorus I know has axes on it, but this Pokemon doesn't even have any axes, it just kind of has some Weird, uh, weird kind of, uh, what are those? Anyway, they're like fangs, I guess, I don't know, he kind of looks like a, like he has weird wings stretching out of his cheeks, I have no idea. Uh, this thing is going for two DDs, which means it can, it might be able to, uh, one-hit KO me, or OKO, or whatever you guys want to call it. I mean, if you're a competitive battler, you'll probably, uh, think of OKO, or OKO, or whatever you want to call it, but it's one-hit KO. Um, however, she does go for the Hyper Potion, and I'm kind of doing a Wi-Fi battle kind of narration here. I have no idea why, uh, but there in the description, you can see the moves it has, as you can see. Uh, pretty much her entire team will try to set up with Dragon Dance and then try to rape you, um, possibly in the butthole. I don't, I wouldn't recommend being raped there. That's kind of terrible. I mean, I, I've never been done that to me myself. But, uh, but, uh, <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm just making myself look like an idiot. Uh, but anyway, hopefully she will go for, wow, I'm faster for whatever reason. Maybe she's using, oh, that's right, she's using Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail is actually a move just like, uh, Roar. However, it does damage as well. So it switches you out, but it does damage, and it'll always go second because it is a, you know, a move that switches you out. So, yeah, it goes for the Dragon Dance for whatever reason, which means Woobat is actually, you know, might kill this thing. I mean, it's level 30, but an Air Cutter might actually do the job. I'm not sure. Yes, it does. So, whoop, whoop, whoop for Woobat. However, I'm not using this thing on my team, so I don't care. Um, next Pokemon will be Drudagon, so I'm going to go out for Mrs. Spankwire here. And I don't think Spankwire will actually do that much damage, uh, but this thing here is actually the difference in Pokemon Black and White. So, once I'm done battling this thing... Um, I'll actually show the equivalent to it, uh, with Drayden, which, uh, there's not that big of a difference, and I'm probably just gonna rape it with, like, one Ice Beam from, uh, the vanilla Pokemon, the vanilla Ice Cream Cone thing, and, uh, I don't even know if I'll actually show it off, but I guess I'll put the sidebar, um, whatever, the two abilities it can have, I'll put them in the sidebar, that is basically the only difference that it has in Pokemon Black 
and I really, I don't know, I didn't really feel like editing all that much today because I'm just tired. I have literally not slept, like, at all in the past week because, like I said, it was the last week of school. I had a bunch of stuff to turn in. I really haven't gotten that much sleep. I slept, like, three hours last night, um, and I was pretty much out the entire day today having some fun. Fun, fun in the sun. Our last Pokemon is going to be the Haxorus, which is probably the toughest thing on our team. Um, you'll see the moves in the sidebar. Once again, this one has literally no difference. There's no difference in abilities or anything. The only difference uh, that there is is the ability of Dredagon between uh, Iris and Drayden. And of course, you know, on Drayden's team, they're all male. And here we have some amazing music. Ah. <laughs> I just love that music, but anyway, wow, we get the five hits on the, you know, tail slap, so that is amazing, Poncho, I freaking love you, I wish you had, uh, you know, your cute little orange stripe on your back with your glasses and everything, and hopefully one Dragon Dance isn't enough to take me out, which it is not, so one tail slap should do it, but I guess two can do the job as well, and there we go, we have defeated Iris slash Drayden, Drayden will probably be a piece of cake in my Pokemon Black save file, but... Just keep in mind, whichever one you're fighting, they're kind of the same thing. There's only, like, one difference, so... Yeah, anyway, Iron Giant, you are still not evolving because you do not have the Earthquake, and I really want you to get the Earthquake, so... Not evolving until you do that, sir. That was so hip and cool, like a cliff. And we get the Badge of Badginess. I think this is the Legend Badge. We put it in our handy-dandy badge case. Cause it's Blue's Clue, who's Blue's Clues? Whoa, it's the Legend Badge. There we go, she will also give us a TM, which will be Dragon Tail, which I kind of already explained what it does. It's kind of like Roar, but it also switches you out. Um, you know, it's like Roar that it switches you out, but it also does damage, is what I meant to say. Anyway, we are done with this gym, guys, so thank you for watching. Check out a brand new video on my second channel. I will put the link in the description if you guys would like to check that out. Um, there will probably be an annotation floating up right about now as well for the rest of the video. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already. That way you will know when I release any new videos, which I'll probably be making a lot more often because it is the summer, summertime now. And, uh, yeah, subscribe to my second channel as well if you want to check out some more cool, uh, you know, real-life skit videos and stuff like that. And I guess, uh, Professor Juniper is telling us where to go next. So, uh... Yes, I regret it. <laughs> uh, whatever. I don't know. I don't know why we answered yes, but she will give us a present anyway, and that will be the Master Ball. No, uh, don't think of anything else. It is just a ball for Masters, because we are a Pokemon's Master now. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow.